back everyone thank you for watching thank you for liking and thank you for those who have subscribed to my video so far yeah this is my first build but hey everybody's got to start somewhere too but it's not my only first build i do build other things like four wheelers and stuff but i do build other stuff but this in this video here we're going to uh stretch the frame i'm going to get this body off so i can figure out how much we're going to be stretching the frame I'm going to be taking off a couple pieces as well. I'm going to get it at right height, what, I, what type of uh, height I want it at. And I'm going to let you watch throughout the whole entire time process of what I'm doing and how we're going to get there. And like I said uh, in some videos, or if I haven't said it yet, but we're going to be using this little, uh, what you call it, uh, it's an old frame that I had. So. I'm going to explain a little bit about that in, in, in later on in the video, so I'll let you uh, watch that as well. But I had to lift it up. As you see here, we lifted it up so I can work on it a little bit better. Showing you a couple things what I'm going to be doing. Yes, I'm going to be stretching the frame. But the reason, real reason why I wanted the ones with the lower control arms is that, you, as you just seen, is this little frame I have here. I had about a good four or five months. Uh, nobody really wanted to buy it or anything, so I just kept it around. And what I'm going to be using is the back part here. I'm going to be cutting this all out. I'm going to be utilizing this for the mount for the motor. So I can mount the motor up across it and everything. At the same time, I'm going to probably going to be going with a uh, rack and pinion setup or... I haven't fully decided exactly how I'm going to do the setup for the steering. But right now, this is more of a setup, trying to figure out how I'm going to mount the motor, where the motor is going to be fully mounted. keep it in line so but at the same time I'm gonna be putting a little step up right here mostly for the the chain system and everything so it stays in the center we're trying to keep this nice equal weight type deal but at the same time durable last longer sometimes easy to be able to handle and fix mostly because to me it's still in a compact area just like regular cars are all compact but as you see here, I kind of uh, figured out where I want to cut. This is where I'm going to cut for both sides so I can be able to put uh, bu uh, bungs in them. And have really what I'm going to do, you'll see in the video, is I'm going to put a pipe uh, about three inches one in one direction and as far as I can in the opposite direction. So, But here we are so far. I got the kind of the right height that I want. We got to take these little foot things off so I can take these little pieces off. Because we're going to utilize this foot, uh, this foot section here. We're going to utilize it to. You'll see where where where, where I'm going to be utilizing that. At. So, if you need me to uh, narrate more, let me know in my in the comments below. So let's get back to the video. <laughs>
So this is the steering arm system that was on the four wheeler. What I'm gonna do is cut it here, use this as a filler piece. So when I stretch the frame, this is gonna go inside the frame, and then a piece is gonna go over it because it's a bigger piece, uh, bigger size frame. And then I'm gonna weld it all, all as one piece. Give it a lot more strength and everything. And I'm possibly gonna use the handlebars and convert it into a steering wheel. So keep it low budget and able to be able to just work on something. Here we are with the frame now. This is what I was talking about. There are little spacers inside here. There's gonna be a tube over over it as well. So the tube's gonna slip on over it. And these are gonna be inside. This is going in about right about here. But it also gives me an extra amount of adjustment before I do a final welding and everything, before I cut the piece that goes right here. It's just to make this completely stronger since this is the front end of it. Since it's the front end. It's going to get a lot more beating than the back end or anything like that. So right here is going to be a lot more beating. So what I was talking about this piece right here, this piece is going to be like the foot peg. I'm going to probably bring it up right about here to give it a little bit of lift. But this is going to be the bottom half of here. It's going to sit right here to get it because it's perfectly, it's, perfectly in line and it's real good for a support for their foot and it's a good place for me to be able to use when I build foot pegs and like the uh, brake, gas and brake assembly and everything so it's gonna be a good thing this is what I was talking about cutting out I might be changing the design here in a little bit because I noticed a few things here uh, it's gonna sit up a little high so the motor can sit across the whole uh, half of it, half the motor. I want majority of the weight of the motor over this area, but I might have to. I'm gonna have it lifted up some so it can just sit a little higher. But it's gonna be some type of concept like that. So I had these pedal sitting around I was going to use for a project in one of my vehicles so I, they've been just sitting around for a very long time so I'm going to use those as foot pedals for my kids I'll show you how I'm going to make it so I got this busted light here uh, the light works but there's a electrical issue in the back right back here so there's a big electrical issue so I'm going to use the pieces from this here, this bottom piece off of this. This little piece right here. I'm going to use this piece and build brackets for the pedal. So I already made one already so far. Uh, sorry I didn't record. I'll rec make sure it records the next one. This is going to be the next piece that I'm going to be using. Same with this one. Here's how I did it.
the mounting of the body under the four wheelers. I'm going to use these bolts here. Put them inside here. Put the nuts on. Then I would have another peg just like this one.